one week since the election has happened and the results are still trickling in. I have no idea why Alaska has not been called. Excited to finally get the call today for North Carolina with its hot 15 electoral college votes as they trickle in the votes there in Arizona and they battle over the legality of the mail-in ballots that came in after the 8 p.m. election day deadline set forth in our constitution. <laughs> so uh, again, wow, with North Carolina going today, and you gotta wonder why they didn't fight it. I'll tell you one of the th reasons that I thought they wouldn't have fought it from the beginning is because we had Trump run it, Tillis ran it, Cawthorn got a win, so we had a bunch of Republican wins, and then somehow our Democratic governor and our Democratic AG, who attempted, well, this, it was elongate this vote as long as possible. Those two ne'er-do-wells managed to get a win. I imagine the concession to call that today, instead of waiting all the way till its legal end date, the 12th, the call was made today, so there would not be a reason for a recount or a recanvassing or to figure out exactly how the AG and Governor Cooper managed to hold on. So uh, not surprising at all. And you can go on the Facebook page at Real John Toll or at John Toll and see that they actually had printed out lists of people who were not allowed inside of Philadelphia polling locations. You're allowed by the city to go in. You're presented with a credential. You show up to the polling place. You show them your credential and they have a piece of paper printed out with names on it that are only Republicans. And if your name is on that document, you are barred. And I believe there are 380,000 ballots that were processed and not a single Republican eye was on there let alone from the fact that they were six feet away or 25 feet away, or they got binoculars, whatever they had you do, they barred them from the building. Uh, no surprise, 51,000 ballots, mail-in ballots, all right? Uh, you get a mail-in ballot, you mail it back, it takes a day. I got 51,000 of those. I got 35,000, we mailed it out, and it came back on the same day. Well, that's so damn efficient, isn't it? And then finally, 23,000 Pennsylvania ballots, folks, that arrived before they were sent. <sighs> How it exactly does that happen is that proof of fraud, of widespread fraud, of massive widespread fraud, of massive widespread fraud that had an effect on the election. Again, if it is shown to be proven widespread nationwide fraud, either using percentage vote counting or using whatever this dominion system is that all of a sudden 19,082 votes roll off of this dude's score and then get added immediately to the other score. How does that work? How are the glitches all one way? How are every intel agency's mistake against Donald Trump? All the impeachment mistakes against Donald Trump. All the polling errors against Donald Trump. Every bad headline rescinded at three o'clock in the morning against Donald Trump. And here we are, every glitch there is benefits Joe Biden. It goes against Donald Trump. Again, how, how, in what world is every mistake, knowingly or unknowingly, when it's uncovered, always goes one way. At some point, you have to point out that it is fraudulent, that the fraudulent is widespread. And because it is widespread, it is then massive it then did taint the entirety of the election. And I do believe we have a remedy for that, which would be kicking it to the House and having the House decide it as written by the Constitution. Again, we still have recounts to go in Georgia. We're getting more wins. The Republicans, the Republicans have taken, remember the Democrats, when they went into this, they had a majority of the House. They no longer have a majority of the House. They lost down ballot seat after down ballot seat. It's at the point right now that Nancy Pelosi does not have enough votes to retain her speakership. Add that news, add on top of Pompeo when asked directly, hey, what are you doing about this transition? And he goes, there's gonna be a peaceful transition between the first and second terms of one Donald Trump and their heads exploded. But they have to say that. Because as soon as somebody in the America First Trump 
group breaks ranks as soon as they somehow acknowledge Joe Biden and his office of this doesn't really exist. This is my press conference, a.k.a. I'm just a guy with opinions. Again, you made it at Kinko's. It doesn't make you official. You can't just invent an office and then stand there and pontificate. That's not how this works. And again, no one can say anything because as soon as they have a glimmer, a glimmer of current GOP folks that, again, acknowledge the very existence of this Biden sham win, then the media gets to say, they're conceding. Look, look at they're conceding. Even though Donald Trump doesn't concede, all it's going to take is just a, a sea hair's worth of concession for them to create then the illusion that one side is conceding and they're going to fail in that. And if that doesn't go as well, I can guarantee you will see a Donald Trump deep fake video of him conceding the election, which does not exist and even though it will be provably false and they should not do the operation, more than likely just to continue the depression and the repression campaign going on in the American people, they'll gladly do that. In the same way, they'll gladly tell you to not have Thanksgiving, to gladly not have Christmas, to have reasons to not be around your family. Again, has anything been passed for stimulus? Not a damn bit. All of a sudden, remember how good it was yesterday when we, we believed that the Joe Biden had, had cured the virus with his brand new vaccine. And now all of a sudden, all the state, I've got to put your mask on. It's all about depression. It's about repression. It's about making sure that a demoralized group of people cannot be reasoned with. And again, look at, look at the small wins that we're getting. Okay. And then look at the lack of response from the people who are at now. You're looking at a true transition campaign. Cash Patel is in there. Uh, Ezra, Ezra Watkins is in there. He was directly underneath General Flynn. And uh, that's it. And go to my Twitter, at John Toll. You go to the Facebook page and the stuff they put on there. Happy birthday to the USMC. And uh, I guess let's watch these results continue to either get pulled off, pulled out of the Biden column, Put into the Trump column and watch what happens. Watch what happens when this flips. As a member, I don't know if I've said this to you yesterday or if it was an idea that I had before. But if you knew, if you knew that there was going to be riots if Donald Trump won the election, okay? Then if you had Donald Trump win, then there was the riots, then the riots by the media it would be pinned on Trump supporters. And so then what they did was allowed you to have a dance party this weekend with no riots so that now when it finally does flip, if it does flip and you lose your mind, which I believe is coming and you do decide to riot, your excuse that you were going to have to pin it on the alt-right or the poor boys or who Trump supporters, whatever you were going to lie to do it. Well, you've blown that out just like they blew out. You know what they did for the last, I'll finish on this. You know what they did for the last four years, ladies and gentlemen, they gave us a day in day out crash course of what a FISA warrant looks like a foreign intelligence surveillance warrant, two hops, three hops. Depending on who you're looking at, you could get a whole swath of people. And did they get people planning things in March? Remember, here's the coronavirus. We're locking down all the pundits. Well, this is going to be bad for Trump's ability to go out and have rallies. And it's going to hurt his ego. And then they'll have to have mail-in ballots. They were just thinking in real time and really giving away the plot of what they ended up doing in the election. Like any good PR campaign. It starts way, way, way in advance. And this did the same thing. You can go back and look at the pundit hits from March, April, May, and they gave away the steal, how they were going to do it. And the question is, did we watch them do it? Did we have the foreknowledge of their planning and the execution and watch them execute the plan? Did we catch them in real time as it happened? Or did we know what they were going to do? And now we know where the evidence is. We're going to get it. We have affidavits. We're going to court and they will win this. America will win this. The institutions will hold. God bless America. We win.